If yeah. y'all want any food, that's some good stuff. Like, but promote kana, dali. Match it, match it, match it, match it, match it. This is chasing Mindy by Carla de Guzman. I've never had a girlfriend. Javier announced. NGSB. No girlfriend since birth. <laughs> no, no, no. That is not a thing, Mindy Lecture. Don't try to make it a thing. And so you can stop asking questions. He said thoughtfully after taking a bite of pastry like it was the first time we'd ever considered it. I, I haven't been with anyone in a serious way. I, I've been on dates, yeah, but that's not what you're asking, is it? Of course it wasn't. Well, you were, uh, you were busy with school, I guess, Mindy surmised. Being smart is very time-consuming. No, my parents' marriage literally fell apart when I graduated high school. I had to sort out living arrangements, moving things, cutting ties, and, and tangling accounts and properties, negotiating with lawyers. My mother wasn't allowed to deal with the lawyers, so I had to do it. Damn it. Mindy wanted to put her foot in her mouth again. Why did she keep accidentally bringing up the family dramas? Guy literally ran away to Paris to stop thinking about it, and here she was, unearthing drama like a pig, digging for truffles in the dirt. And uh, here in Paris, it's the Ville de la Nue, after all. She exaggerated her French accent while she reached for a profiterole her for herself. It's the city of light, not love. He corrected her. And I'm not exactly free. My spending is closely monitored, my building manager knows my father, and I wouldn't be surprised if my father called the Sorbonne once every two weeks for a status report on my grades and classes. Whew. You're okay with that? With him being in control of your life? Nina chewed thoughtfully. Mindy chewed thoughtfully. Um, he sees me as an investment. He's waiting for a return on it. Javier shrugged. He believes that the more he forces me to do things, the more I will owe him. He never got to study abroad, so I have to do it. He never got an MBA, so I have to do it. Is there an end in sight for such a life like that? Probably not. Javier sighed heavily. Then it was his turn to look uncomfortable. This is the most freedom I've had in years, though. I'm, I'm hoping it moves upwards. Well, what about relationships? Mina, Mindy pointed out to him. Is there more wiggle room there? Or? Well, um, I'm a 23-year-old 20, virgin who can't drive. He said with a straight face. Mindy's back stiffened and her brain quickly made the connections in her head. She had to stop in the middle of the street and watch Javier quirk an eyebrow at her in confusion before she exploded with the loudest laugh in the entire universe. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! She managed to say between wheezes and chortles. She was laughing so hard that her sides started to hurt and she had to grab onto Javier's arm to keep her upright. God, it felt absolutely lovely to laugh out loud, out loud like this. She hadn't realized how odd it was until she was alone. Usually she had eight other people laughing just as loudly as, loudly as she did. <laughs> are you... <laughs> are you... <laughs> are you laughing at my virginity? Okay. <laughs> Frowning down at her, she looked up, her cheeks burning from smiling. No! No, it's because... It's because... I, I don't think it's very funny. He said. It's not uncommon, especially with repressed, sheltered little <laughs> rich boys who spend more time in schoolwork than than stories. I know it's not, you dummy. She managed to regain her composure, wiping a tear from the corner of her eye as she smacked him lightly on the arm. And it's not a bad thing. <laughs> it, it, isn't, it isn't? I mean, most women I've told here actually re recoil. <laughs> Mindy's heart was suddenly so full of pity and love for Javier's innocence that she squeezed his arm. She wanted so badly to give him a hug and reassure him that it was fine, but, but then again... Well... We could, uh... Remedy that situation, you know? She waggled her eyebrows so that he would have to know she was teasing. I've... I've had sex before. <laughs> I've had a bed with no security covering over it. It was the most suggestive thing she'd ever said, and she was surprised she even managed to come up with it. Javier looked at her so sharply that she gasped and was surprised to see how dark his eyes were. Their gazes locked in such a sudden intensity that 
<laughs> she felt her knees wobble. She felt the heat radiating from Javier's skin and is ignited with electricity. Then his gaze moved from her eyes down to the edge of her lip, but she realized she was biting down on it. To the rapid rising and falling of her chest, his eyes were appraising, imagining, and Mindy realized sharply that she wanted this. If Javier wanted to lose his virginity, she wanted be, to be the one that he lost it to, and nobody else. Don't lie about things like that. He finally said. I might believe you. Javier was talking in Mindy's head. Every sentence that came out of his mouth ticked a mental list of things Mindy found attractive. Things that she'd never really considered but totally agree with. And it could be the three bowls of coffee that she drunk just now, but her pulse was racing and her temples were thumping. White, hot heat was spreading all through her body, all because Javier Tianco might believe her. <laughs> I don't lie, she said. Not about something like this. Then she grabbed his face and paused. <laughs> Can I kiss you? <laughs> Jasmine? He said tenderly. Do it. <laughs> well, you put it that way, she said quickly. For she kissed him and, oh my god, it was so delicious and satisfying that she actually wondered how she'd gone so long without kissing. He'd obviously been caught off guard, but Javier was a quick learner and kissed her right back, where she pushed her lips, he yielded and clutched her face in his, you know, his hands. She let him leave the kiss and, God, it was amazing. Mindy's head was spinning while he'd admitted to being a virgin. Javier had never said anything about not knowing how to kiss, she realized. This guy knew exactly what he was doing. Javier, I... Just shut up. <laughs> He murmured and kissed her again. Mindy could live off of Javier's kisses. She wished she didn't need air because needing air meant stopping and she didn't want to. This, she realized, was something that only she could do. Stand in the middle of the street in Paris to kiss a boy she'd only known for a day. Wait. Wait, Mindy said, surprised at how breathy her voice was when she finally pulled away from him. We can't. Our mother's heads will explode. You were thinking about our mamas when we were kissing. <laughs> I should rethink my technique. <laughs> to be at the right place at the right time. I, I want to get this over and done with. I want to do this with you. Whether that means for you, I, I don't want this to end with either of us getting hurt. Well, I agree. And I'm not exactly the best advocate of love at the moment. Please continue. But I know I like spending time with you. It doesn't have to be anything serious. It doesn't, it doesn't have to mean anything. He was saying just the right things, and damn it, he shouldn't be. She didn't know if it was the three cups of coffee she had that day, but he was being so perfect, or, or if it was just Paris itself, but she needed a moment. She needed to run and, and reassess. She'd always needed that. They reached a rotunda at the road. Mindy could already see the Hardin de Luxembourg up ahead. She smiled. Everyone told her she was just too reckless and thoughtless about things. Mindy reached over to Javier and pulled on the collar of his shirt so she could be safe. This, this is your first time, she told him, her forehead touching his as his eyes searched hers. And are you sure you want it with me? I'm sure that I don't want to miss out. I'm sure that I want to get over this. Was he? Now, go to class one. 